Welcome to Saturday morning on Bike Racing Without Mercy. Thank you very much for joining Dennis, Stephen, Mike and Daniel. Hugely appreciated, happy Saturday. It's an overcast one here, but a lot less humid than midweek. Hope all's well. Ed's streaming right now. I'm sure you're probably watching, but he's doing his usual absolute annihilation. Um, this time on the Ford KOM of the mountain route in Watopia. He's looking very, very good indeed. Jack, thank you for joining, how are you? So on the agenda right now, well let me just call up uh, the warm up track. On the agenda right now is Mont Ventoux and I have a plan. And I've written my plan down, but the plan is actually upstairs. But I think I can remember it. <laughs> hey Louis, thank you for joining. Hi Dean, thank you for joining. Yeah, 2KM leading. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> so including the lead in I think my plan is to ride moderate for the first six and a half to seven kilometers and then when we get the 10% ramps from seven to 10 kilometers go a little bit harder and then softer for a kilometer when the ramps kind of ease off to around about eight percent and then it's hard from 11 to 16 albeit there is about 300 meters of respite somewhere. Then from 16 to 19, moderate, and then it's empty the tank time. That's the plan. So try and remind me of that as I go. Morning, Scott. If you fancy a race, or anybody fancies a race down Mont Ventoux from the top, um, that'd be a bit of fun. Uh, basically, Ben Pitt, Hey Ben, I know you're racing right now. I'm sure you're not watching. He suggested some kind of a race event from the top of Mont Ventoux. And so anybody that wants to join me at the top and race down, that would be fun. I take it the sounds all right, is it Jane? Yeah, actually Jane, if you could get the plan, that would be actually quite helpful, thanks. Hi Old Slow, thank you for joining. Jinx, thank you for joining. Any news on the Watt bike? All's fitting well, hopefully. Ryan, how are you, sir? Ed looks like he's doing like some proper serious red. And when it goes red on Ed, that is like otherworldly. David, how's it going? Where are you off to? Anywhere nice? Oh, I better go to the event. Bear me a second. Now, I warmed up actually on the Champs Elysees course. It's really good because you can basically use that 3% or 2 to 3% incline um, to the Arc de Triomphe as a nice little warm up. You can spin your legs to simulate seated and spinning on the climb and you can also get out the saddle and practice that. It's actually a nice little warm up. So I did about three ascents on that. Thank you, Jack. The Steer Zero, I'm not sure, Louis. I've got no idea about the Steer Zero. Hi, Carlo. Thank you very much for joining, how are you? So what is moderate for me? Well, I averaged about 275 um, for the ascent of Alpha Zwift midweek, and my legs are pretty tired. 280 normalized. So I'm reckoning 265 to 270 for that first six and a half kilometers, and I will let myself get dropped unless I feel with a small extra investment, I can get the benefit of the draft in the front group. Thank you, Daniel. Hey, Alan, how's it going? I was back on the 3015s um, on Thursday for training. Boy, did I feel it. Um, and then harder for me, well, my FTP, I reckon, and Ed's calculations, he's got a computer system that calculates FTP based on all of your kind of hard efforts. I reckon that's down from about 299 to about 290 watts. But that's still 4.6 watts a kilogram because I've lost basically two, two and a half kilograms um, since I took Ed's sneaky little FTP test and got the 299. Adam, how are you, sir? How is the beautiful new forest? Any chance of an outdoor ride today and getting your TSS up into the 7800s? Ah, time. I think my previous best time is one, yeah, I know my previous best time, bear me a second. 
That's a very good point. Oh, bear me a second, I've got to finish my pre-workout. I took a picture of this, because I always... Yeah, my previous record, I've only ridden it twice at Mont Bonti. The first time I rode it was an hour, seven and 22 seconds. Rain today, a Zwifting. I know you're not quite such a Zwift aficionado, Adam. So, um, yeah, hopefully you get a break in the weather there. Yeah, keep him well. Um, oh, the national champs, Dizzy. I'm not, unfortunately. <laughs> no chance of that. Um, today, I'm wearing a stolen goat, but it's kind of got a French theme to it. Because unfortunately, because of the, um, obviously, I think what is right, the government being kind of cautious and wanting to try and stop this pandemic with the, um, what's it called? Uh, the quarantine when you return from France, Ed and I are no longer able to go to La Mamotte. We're gonna find a different challenge instead, but there'll be a new additional trip to com hunting territory down in Exmoor, um, which will also take in one of the hill climb events, the Porlock Toll Road. Hopefully I can remember to steer. Did you also, what was your time? Oh, thank you. I see, look. I did have a plan. And Boba Fett is once again on the deck, AKA Scott, to tell me to man up when I'm wanting to give up. Paul Ottmamot, like that, Paul Ma Anyway, gotta concentrate. So, apologies if I missed some comments there. Um, I think streaming in the week is difficult because of the quality of um, broadband. But we'll be releasing videos much quicker. Jane and Scott and Ed will be on the deck <laughs> working furiously. Yeah, so I was saying, I reckon my FTP is about 290. So hard for me, when I'm pushing hard, will be 285 to 300. Like I say, I'm gonna race my own race here. On the flat is not really where you wanna be investing. Hiya, Tony. How are you? Giacawari. Morning to you, sir, sorry. Oh, I'm on the Trek Edmonda, sorry. Thank you, Jane, just the, the Edmonda with the lightweight wheels. Just hoping by just getting into this group, I can relax, get a slightly better time. I'm trying to stay seated. So Alan, I did the 30-15s seated rather than standing on Mont Ventoux, and I find it harder to get the power down seated, but I'm hoping that will pay off today. My little legs are whirring, trying to rev up. Find a nice equilibrium. Long way to go. This is a very long climb. It catches you by surprise. Yuha, thank you very much. I always appreciate the compliment. Gentleman rider, how are you today? Oh, it's gonna be a long one. Already I feel hot. Yes, um, that's what I did, Alan. I was meant to do 
the intervals at 350 watts but in the end I was in the 310 to 350 and the workout was proper difficult hi Mick I still haven't watched your video everyone check out Mick's channel he's put a really nice looking video up I just got so busy in the week at work I didn't see the steepest climb in Holland but I'm intrigued <clears throat> yeah so I'm on the Edmonda here Tony with the lightweight wheels the lightweight wheels that I've got for my villa which I don't get back now until October just in time for the indoor racing season genius so I think we're coming towards the end of the lead-in like I say I'm gonna ride it my pace and hopefully I'll claw back some of those who over invest so here I think we're generally in the seven to eight percent range which is horrible but not as horrible as the 10 to 14 percent range that comes from about six and a half to seven kilometers so that's where I'm going to invest more hopefully Just focusing on the cadence, getting the breathing, the cadence, and the equilibrium established. A bit too fast there. <laughs> yeah, indeed, Tony. Well, oddly enough, I'm in the um, Fred Witten at the end of May because my entry for this year got postponed. So it'll be a chance to give them a proper testing. See, if I try to stay with the lead group, I'd be toast. Well, I'd be toast kind of a third of the way up. So I've got my Canago back and it's got the 32 cassette on the back now and a longer derailleur. Just in time for not doing La Mamotte. But like I say, we'll figure out a different way to mark what would have been the mama. Which hill is that, Old Slow? The move on to. The 32, yeah. I reckon it'll be a good one for me. I've only ridden a 32 once, and that was when I hired a bike to ride up Abdu Airs in real life. It felt nice. Yeah, Tony, but that's a great result, mate. Your fitness is coming on nicely. You, Scott, others would take me down on the flatter TT routes. Sorry, I keep dropping a bit below what I want as well, so I need to concentrate. Ugh. <sighs> 
how's Ed doing on his ascent of the Ford KOM? So this weekend as well, I've got a video hopefully dropping on Sunday. It's a com hunt with Scott and it's a fun one. Scott will provide his own perspective of that too. And we're hoping to create a little event around the segment that I do during the back end of September. Fingers crossed and wait out on that. Nice one, Ed. Yeah, Jane. Best get editing, thank you. You see these five and six percent inclines are gonna feel like flat versus what's to come shortly. Oh, he's got the radio tower. The bonus climb. You can see, sticking to the plan here. And you'll see why in a second. For those of you who haven't ridden the course, It's not as I'm finding this easy, by the way. Now he gets dropped on the descent, hey Ryan? Wouldn't happen in real life. Hiya Patrick. <laughs> An electric bike. Well it's called weight doping Patrick. You could just reduce your weight and glide up the mountain. This is definitely the hardest of the climbs, no question. Yeah, too right, Tony. A bit of micro recovery there, ride to the mountain. Yeah, the what bike kit does look nice. I've got a real one as well, I sometimes wear. I wore it for my four ascents about the Zwift, which was nearly two years to the day that I bought the what bike. We're just a bit under. Did anybody see stage, I think it was Thursday of the Criterium du Dauphiné? Sepp Kuss, what a rider. Marking down all the attacks from all the really big guns. Basically, got Primo Roderick, Roderick, Rodlic into position in the final 700 meters 
But that boy, I saw him ride and win the Tour of Utah. Um, exceptional. He looks like he's on incredible form for the Tour de France. Well, oh, this looks like the 10% section. Right. <clears throat> That's a high heart rate for Ed. So keeping it below 300, I know that above 300 costs me disproportionately. Let's get the spinning going. Legs are feeling okay. It's a question of managing resource. Sorry. It's a question of managing resources. Drinking is difficult. No, no cycling at all, Daniel. The Watt bike was my first bike since like, uh, I don't know, 16? I was 44. Maybe 43, sorry. Getting a draft here. Just about, I guess. So it's six until 10, ease off from 10 until 11, then hard from 11 to 16. See the ramps. Tiny bit more investment as we hit the teens. Let's get the hamstrings going. Are you up to? Okay. French bread. Post workout. French bread. Hiya, Craig. Thank you for joining. 
How are you? All well? Hey Philip, good to see you. How are you today? Pain face is deployed until 10k. Trainer difficulty. 75%, weight 63, a kilogram up from my low of 62. Yeah, it's gonna be pouring with rain here shortly, but it. Need to get the cadence up. <laughs> What's outlaw, Craigie? Two hundred milligrams of caffeine, Scott. What does it involve, though, Craigie? Oh, an Iron Man! Wow, a full Iron Man. Tell me about it. What are you aiming for? This is tough. Half, nice one. So what kind of time? Six hours, nice. Flipping hell. That's on another level. <laughs> Getting a nice little toe here. I'll do my bit in a minute. Hi Adam, how are you today sir? Thank you very much. Love Yorkshire too, God's own county. That's wise, Patrick. Reducing the stress on the knee. Definitely. I use 75%. Cause on the climb, I think that's what a 32 felt like. I'll know for sure shortly. Cause I've got a 32 on the back of the Conaga now. Ed uses 50%. He reckons 
that's realistic. Hi Zed, thank you very much, I appreciate your support. That's very kind of you. Quinton, how's it going? When are you going to be back on Zwift? Jerry, morning sir. Thank you very much. Yes, Eki Wire is strong. I haven't got enough to drag him. Nice one, Quinton. Do you reckon it'll be up or down? Cheers Radislaw. How are you sir? Seeing some big rides outdoors. Well, good luck with it, Quinton. Hi, Tom, how are you, sir? How's the school holidays? Got the wrong gear there. Equilibrium is established. Breathing and heart rate, cadence, feel good. Yeah, got him in my sights, Tony. See, the 8% feels almost flat now. Yeah, reading him in, it's got... He's gonna hit the brakes and we'll fly right by. Hiya Mark. Um, yeah, this is zone four, 270 to 310. Sorry, 265 to 300 now. Sorry, it's gone down a bit.
That's what I mean about marshalling my resources, managing them. It's about cadence, staying sub 300. I'm trying to feel like I've got the situation under control heart rate wise. <laughs> I thought a true gentleman would wear a dinner suit. Where did this guy come from? A cat D destroying me. Yeah, hopefully we get a nice Indian summer day, Patrick. Okay, so just beyond this village is where it eases off a bit. Already it has actually. I've got my timings wrong. Oh no, I haven't. Right, recuperate for a kilometre. Oh, not quite yet. Oh, sorry to hear that, Nat. Next weekend, maybe. I definitely thought it evened off a bit. I'm ragged here. Maybe it's this village where it evens off per kilometer.
Cheers all. Struggling here. Hi Rogue, how are you? I definitely thought it evened off somewhere around here. Hi Chris. How are you sir? Maybe it's here. With a ski lift. Cheers Andrew. Hear me.
Here we go. At last. Oh. Maybe not. Aiming for four watts a kilogram here. And then we'll pick it back up when we hit about 12.6. Oh, the mountain has other ideas. Cheers, Ed. Cheers, Niels. Yeah, it's a huge mountain, Niels. Quite a boring one as well. Just recuperating a tiny bit. Getting the cadence back up before it ramps again. Here we go. Around about 16, 16 and a half, till it flattens again. What bike, Fern? What bike, Atom? Cheers, Graham. Trying to keep it that way.
Hi Adam. Yeah, trying to hang on to it. Hi Sean. Hi Agnes. Hiya Paul. What does that involve Paul? That's right, Niels. It's not by accident. Although, did you see some of the faces pulled by the Ineos team on the climbs leading out Banal? They are pretty spectacular. Feels like we're on the decline. That's right, Niels. He looked proper committed. This is where I know I'm on a good legs day.
That's the intent, Niels. A little recuperation. Four watts a kilogram. I got my timings wrong before. Thank you, Rob Phil. Appreciate it. Hey, Vegan Mel. Thanks for joining. Sorry, it's all a bit emotional here at the moment. Yeah, trying to keep it at four watts a kilogram, Ed. Or just a tiny bit over. Nice on vegan mail, what was your time? Thanks for joining. Please subscribe. Hi Mark, thanks for joining. Right, now it's time just to get the gate, the cadence and the equilibrium re-established and a final push once I'm feeling good.
Doing my best, Tony. Do my best, Lee. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Ed.
Oh. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, one second. Oh dear me. Dear. Oh. Oh, I'm pleased with that. One second, it's gonna regroup. Oh dear me. Oh dear. One second, two seconds. Just making sure it's the last time I put this cap on, it looked ridiculous. Anyway, well, thank you very much for all the support as always. I was really happy with that and I just dropped on the floor actually. It fell, it fell to the floor. But what I forgot to take into account, I think, is that um, the race course for um, Mont Ventoux is different to when you ride it. I did a practice ride on Thursday where I did my 1530s, uh, so 3015s. And so when I was expecting it to ease off, it didn't. It was, um, oh, it was completely different timings. I, to be honest, there, there is method to the madness. It was moderate, very hard, small respite, very hard, small respite, very hard is basically the plan of action. Oh. Um, but I was really happy with that actually because I think in terms of the time it'll be faster up out the Zwift because the last time I raced this course was the first time it was about one hour eleven and a half minutes that kind of time for the whole course including the lead-in and to get a P4 I'm really really happy with that in all honesty. Oh Scott's here! Right we're gonna have a race. Nice. Anybody else that wants to join for a race down the mountain I just need to get my breath back. Um, jump in. We'll, we'll, wait, we'll wait two, three, four minutes. But this is um, Ben Pitt. Ben Pitt from Australia's idea. I raced him on the Casse Pats. He beat me. And then we raced each other on Mont Ventoux for the first time. And I beat him. So we won all. But Ben said to me in my Strava comments that I'm missing a trick by not going down the mountain because I'm not getting the points or the drops. And um, it's fun to have a race down the mountain, basically. And so this is where I'm going to try and hold the wheel of Scott. Well, thank you very much. It's really nice to say you're inspired, so many of you. I really appreciate that. And Monsieur, I mean, the sheer endurance and TSS that you put down and we see each day, sorry, each Sunday on your Instagram, that always I find very, very motivating because it just shows just how strong so many of you are out there relative to me. What I don't have is the endurance and um, I've got a little um, vlog that Chris Pritchard is um, currently um, editing up and it was like um, a simulation of La Mamotte in central London um, and for sure when I look at the people putting down sort of 150 250 kilometer rides in plenty of climbing often included boy oh boy was I in difficulty as we got past four hours but anyway, you'll see all of that um, when the vlog drops, probably towards the back end of next week. Yeah, Ed, um, I'm, glad, I'm glad you're proud of that ride because whenever you watch, and, you know, and people probably saw it on the, um, the video that we put down for um, when you, I and Scott did the uh, Paul Ock Toll Road followed by your KOM on Dunkery Beacon. But in one of the clips, uh, I was getting... Not angry or anything like that, that's ridiculous, but I was kind of like, I was saying to Scott, you know, 
here we are having to Instagram, blah, 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 blah. And because you guys were publicizing the ride, I said you have to do that indoors. <laughs> the reason being, because I was nervous, right? I was nervous of wanting to put down um, a good climb while you're on the deck outdoors. And it's the same when you're in the live stream. I'm acutely aware of the fact that you put yourself out there in terms of not just your own racing and your own um, challenges, but also I am a product of your training and your coaching. And therefore, if I don't put the effort in on the training and I don't have some good leg days in the races, um, well, it doesn't reflect badly on you. It reflects badly on me, but it doesn't reflect as well on you as it could. And so, I, you know, hopefully this will be a good power at the end of it and we'll see what um, Zwift power is. Actually, Zwift power might be up by now. Let's see. What was it? What, I think I was, was I like 285 average power? I can't remember what I was uh, just now. I was like away with the fairies. Is anyone else going to join for the downhill race? With the, and Scott and I are going to have, um, and anybody else is welcome, of course. We're going to find a flatter chase race um, for a tap to Minehead Stage 3. FTP tweaking again. Yeah, that'd be nice. Um, 282. Thank you, Zach. 282 over an hour and 10 average is really good for me. And a normaliser might be a couple of watts higher. So let me see if I can actually work. Zwift power for once. I am the world's biggest dullard when it comes to um, oh, operating technology under pressure. Bear me a second. Right, I've got. Where do you, there you go, Zwift power. Um, well, I've got it on minimum delay. So I'll tell you what, Scott, you will lead off. I will say, Scott, lead off. And when you lead off, I will follow. Um, right. So, the Zwift Power, this is the Saturday race. Yeah, 282, so that's 4.5 watts a kilogram because I put my weight back up from 62 to 63. It was about 62.9 first thing this morning. Yes, I do worry about these little things. Yeah, do you know what though, Mark, right? In terms of the pain, here, here is the interesting thing that I'm learning about how I have to ride. If I go hell for leather at the beginning, this is why I'd never be a really good kind of grand tour racer, I guess. <laughs> that, delusional anyway. If I go really hard into the climb, for whatever reason, I can never recover from that. Hi, Crit, how are you going? Um, nice to see you, fella, all the way from Cal uh, LA. LA, not California. Yeah, California is LA. Cheers. Um, if I go too hard into the climb at the beginning, I seem to never ever be able to kind of come back from it. Whereas if I kind of Tom DeMoulin style time trial my way into it and get the equilibrium right, and for me the equilibrium is the breathing's about right, although Paul Hambert will say my breathing could do the improvement and more of that to come. I get the cadence high and um, I stay shy of threshold, you know, or don't go very much over it. I find that the second half of the climb is better than the first half. So while the pain phase is fully deployed, I don't know what it is. I was, as I was saying, I was watching Sepp Kuss lead out um, Prima Rogelik on one of the Criterium de Dauphine stages. And Sepp was this like impassive, but putting down the biggest attacks against the very best climbers in the world, including Egan Bernal and um, Pino and well, hell knows how many others. And basically all Rogelik was doing was then having Sepp Kuss close down the attack impassively. His face just looked like, you know, we're like four and a half hours into... Uh, into the ride, five hours into the ride, and he just, oh, sorry, Ed, make it snappy, sorry. Anyway, right. Anyway, I don't have that. So, Scott, no, no one else is joining. Scott, you lead off, and, um, oh, sorry, you're waiting to have a shower. Sorry, Ed. Go on, Scott, go. I've got to wait for you to go overnight, and then as soon as you go, here he goes. Right. Come on, Phil. Ooh, the what bike? <laughs> right, let's get there. And Scott, this is a race. Spinning up. So Scott's about 90, what are you, 97 kilograms, Scott? Not that you can type right now. 96. Oh my word.
Dear me. Come on, air. Oh dear me. This is hard. I'm gonna see if I can aero tuck. No. Dear me. Well, it's hard. It's got to eased off. I don't tuck very well at 8% Niels. I try. Now I'll tuck. But I'm just in contention. This is really hard. Hear me, I am struggling here to hang with Scott. Dear me, come on Phil. Dear me, 14 seconds.
on air attack. <laughs> this is proper hard. It's quite good fun though. Just went aero tuck. Oh dear me. Uh. Oh dear. Gearing's too high. Come on, air attack. This is proper up. Descending is more fun, I guess, in real life if you can steer. Uh, yeah, well, I, I'm not exactly flying down. Scott's got 24 seconds on me. It takes about a 10% gradient for me to air attack with any real. See, look, the speed bleeds off. Moment we get to like nine, or maybe nine's okay. But if I was pedaling, I wouldn't be going much faster. Well, that was a lot of effort expended for not very much. Yeah, I bet your graph is pretty, Scott. You destroyed me on this. Yeah, I got the what bike, Zach. Scott's gonna leave me even on the leaderboard. I'm not even gonna see him on the leaderboard. I tell you what, Scott, this is proper good. Right, the moment I drop back to 70, another rev up. Oh my word. Wonder what's caused that. Maybe he's just trying to save his energy for the tour. Because they are very close together, aren't they? Right, 80 kilometers an hour. I don't seem to be able to get much above that. So we've got about, yeah, we've got about, ooh. So about 14 kilometers to go. Ninety kilometers an hour, Scott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you have smoked me today, that's for sure. But on our chase race, the attack to Minehead three, it all will be evened up. Oh dear. Is it, is it any quicker, do you reckon? To, there we go, let's, let's try and put down a power.
Yeah, it's actually slower to pedal. Freemy doesn't look like he's um, on top form at the moment, and whether or not he's just kind of, he kept dropping out of the peloton in, at the back in stage one, two, and three, didn't he, at the, towards the end. Is he actually going to the tour? Victor Campanart style. Yeah, he looked very strong. He was pulling some great faces too, Nils. Oh dear me. Yeah, Will Zach. I was just thinking that. But I've actually found this harder than putting down a sustained pace going up the mountain. <laughs> so you look similar to Sivakov on the bike. You've got a very neat riding style though, Niels. You're all kind of tucked in and, you know, like a little meerkat on the bike, like this. Chatting away, all calmly. Whereas Sivakov, I mean, he's got a jaw like mine and he was certainly pulling a pretty much DEFCON 2 pain face on um, Wednesday and Thursday, sorry, Thursday and Friday. Have you um, just finished, Scott? Ah, oh, I think we're quite close to the end now. I'm just going to spin the legs out. I think, I think the point has been proved, Scott. You are the king of the downhill KOM. And I've got to say as well, actually, in real life, Scott is an amazing bike handler and I'm going to Cross the fingers there because I don't want to tempt fate or anything. But Scott's bike handling is very special. There's literally no way on earth that I have the skills to stay with Scott on like flat and twisty or um, this, let alone descending and twisty. I thought you looked pretty good out of the saddle indoors, I've got to say, Nils. Yeah. What is XP, Jinx? 38 to 40 kilometers for up and down, yeah. Thank you, Vegan Mel. Hey, Vegan Mel. I love the plant-based diet. I still eat some animal products, for example, whey protein, although I also use a lot of vegan protein. And I generally sleep better and feel better on plant-based. But when I try and go fully plant-based, in the past, I haven't tried it for a couple of years, I have to admit, especially on the pulses, the beans and the lentils and things like that, it really upsets me. And, and that's where suddenly I, I, I'm really struggling to kind of stick with it. So currently I eat a bit of eggs, probably a couple of portions, maybe three portions of fish a week, and some whey protein, maybe once every second day whey protein, it'll be vegan protein the other days. But other than that, I'm quite plant-based. How do you kind of, oh, it's too much for a live stream, but I, you know, what was your biggest tip for kind of removing the pulses and the beans and things like that and finding it sustainable? Because otherwise you're just faced with very big plates of veg and I love the veg. Yeah, the lectins in the beans. Yeah, it really does, I mean, I just, I notice it even when I have 
a relatively moderate portion. It just upsets the tummy. What do you use instead? Now, I'm not vegan, David. Um, during my bodybuilding, I am, um, let me turn this off. During my bodybuilding, um, the first couple of shows that I did, I had a trainer that had me on a lot of meat, like eating five or six times a day, and there was a lot of meat in amongst all of that. And it really put me off meat. I, don't, I never got the taste for it back. And over the years, I've just become more and more plant-based. Um, but I still, as I say, have the whey protein, eggs and fish, but not in huge quantities. A bit of butter as well, to be fair. Yeah, the pre and probiotics. I, I've spent a lot of money on probiotics in the past for the ones that you put in the fridge and give you billions and billions of the good bacteria. I've never no, really noticed much of a difference on it other than the 80 to 100 pounds a month that was debited from my account. So you're, you're kind of, you think they're good. Of course, Agnes, I forget, you are also a very, very prominent vegan. Yeah, toffee I'm all right with actually, Agnes. Um, and the same with satin and the meat substitutes like um, uh, corn burgers and things like that. I love all of that stuff, but I use loads of those. Look to get, ah, kimchi. Yeah, I've seen that in Whole Foods in America, the kimchi. What does the kimchi do? Yeah, Niels, um, that was the first thing I cut out. When I was doing the bodybuilding shows, there was this guy called Charles Poliquin that a lot of the personal trainers really revered. And he had people eating meat and nuts for breakfast. And so my trainer had me eating a steak, a small steak and nuts for breakfast. To this day, I still can't really um, stomach it. Chiwump, you're on the Oh, nice one, Chiwump. Uh, P. Chiwanonen. How do I? Pre Chiwanonen. Chiwanonen. P. Chiwanonen. Nice one. All the way from Norway. Respect, sir. Thank you very much. How are you? And you, you have a nice looking avatar. That looks like a winning avatar. Let me just get out of the way so we can enjoy. Yeah. Is that a wolf on the back of your, your shirt as well? I think you must have finished, Scott. Because, um, I don't know, I'm still, <laughs> it's a long old mountain. I think, I think we're coming to the end of it. Paleo. Yeah, the whole meat and salads thing. I, I, I definitely, for cycling, you need the carbs. No question. I mean, sometimes I train, I train a lot fasted but I've eaten loads and loads of carbs the day before, a lot of fruit and veg and fiber, but also rice cakes and bread, things like that. Uh, did you do the race itself? Um, uh, oh God, oh God. Let me just get my pronunciation correct. Mr. P. Chuanan, 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 Chuanan. I've bit really butchered it. I'm really so sorry, but I really appreciate you joining me to lead me down the mountain. It's nice to have some protection from the draft. Quinoa, I love quinoa. Yeah, yeah, that's got a good protein profile. Um, yeah, quinoa is good. I don't, I, I put out the habit of making it up. So yeah, I need to need to get into that. Here we are. Coming into town. Yeah, I think um, the thing about red meat, it's got a lot of saturated fat. Some people respond well to it, others don't. I just ate too much of it and I think something inside me just revolted against it as it were. Hey Bullet, hope all's good in mine head. Ah. Alrighty, well, let's shut it down then. Oh, Scott, thank you very much for the race.
I really appreciated that. You absolutely destroyed me. Oh, and Mr. Tuonanen, thank you ever so much. Love your avatar, sir. Really appreciate you joining and thank you for your support. It's really, really hugely appreciated. Loved our chat about um, diet. I do, I, it fascinates me, the whole nutrition side of things. So really appreciate all of that. But look, I've taken way too much time from everybody already today. Um, oh yeah, I see the XP is what you're claiming. A nice one. Thank you very much for that, Jinx. I should know that after two years of Zwifty. <laughs> um, but really appreciate it all. And we, we have a stage three of the Criterion de mine head. Yeah, I like the, I like the refinement there. It might be um, Tor de mine head rather than a tap de mine head. But nonetheless, um, we'll do that. And Fletcher Stefan, well, thanks for joining at the very end. I appreciate that. It was a decent race. The legs were good. But in the meantime, whoever you are and whatever you do, please remember to live, thrive and stay healthy. Thank you very much. Take care. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it.